things that I scheduled were friend time, family time, church time. Now, the reason I put family time in here, because parents were prone, right, to, hey, come cut the grass. Hey, come clean this. I, I was trying to work. I was trying to do school. I was trying to do that. And I had to prove to them, hey, this is a real job. Hey, this is a real task that I'm doing. I'm not just playing around today. I have things going on. You can't just call me randomly and say, drop what you're doing and do this, because mom, I'm trying to grow up. I'm trying to be an adult. And so, and demos were usually on my Saturdays and Sundays, right? It was over on the weekends. For me personally, that was my schedule. In the world today, I'm going to talk to you about fitting it all in, how the schedule works, how you can actually go to school in the fall and the spring. Now, my name is Nick Smith. I took 18 hours every single semester as I was running an office for the Cutco. So I'm going to go over how I did it, the basics to it. And I'm going to tell you guys, I was able to take five classes, 18 hours every single semester, still make multiple six figures in my young 20s, and not only graduate college debt-free, but already own a property and not even have a mortgage anymore because I paid it off. But the key was my soft, my soft skills was a focus. My ability to Time manage at a high level was a focus in my young 20s, and it did help me go far. So let me share my screen so you guys can see everything really fast. And I'm going to open up a schedule. So this is how I did it. It's an easy way to do it. I made an Excel sheet. I put color codes on there. It made life pretty easy for me. Now, this is not how everyone has to do it, but I would recommend get a schedule. And so there's like an ideal weekly schedule. Now, of course, as you can see, it says friend time here. Now. Maybe your friends don't want to hang out with you that day. Well, things will change. That's why we also have a Google Calendar and the Google Calendar updates. Here's the deal. With the Google Calendar, we always say share it with your manager, but most importantly, share it with your parents, right? Because a lot of the young, you know, 19 to 25 year olds, they don't tell their parents anything. And the reality is that is not effective communication. And that's why I don't feel like you have a real job. Cutco is a real job. I was able to make multiple six figures, buy properties, do all this great stuff in my young 20s. Not because it was Cutco that get it off, but because I chose to do it the right way. And that was, I had to let people in my life know, I had to effectively communicate, and I had to set my priorities, right? And so here's an example of a schedule. As you can see at the beginning, Monday through Friday, this kid has school, right? So we put school, right? He has classes. He might have a couple breaks in between in here, but our goal is stay at school because that is what I did. When I was going to school, guys, if I had a two o'clock class and my next class was until six, I took that time in between to do my homework, right? And my homework was always like the blackboard stuff. So the quizzes, the tests, the, the things I could get ahead in, that's what I consider homework. It's not really study sessions. That's considered homework. Study sessions is a whole other thing. And so I prioritized when I was literally at the university. I graduated at UTPA. Uh, it's now called UTRGV, uh, but that's where I got my business degree. And so I was going to school full time and I made it a priority that when I was at school, I was at school. When I played, I played. When I worked, I worked, right? And every, every day after school, what I did is I, I found a place. For me, it was the library or there's a little room in the business building that literally I could plug my stuff in. No one would go to it. It was very easy for me to get stuff done. I was, I was prone to be the guy that always got weeks ahead of uh, each class, literally because I would just find my quiet place and get ahead on Blackboard. You can literally get weeks ahead of a class by going to a quiet place and just putting in two hours a day. And you do all your assignments, you get ahead, you talk to your professor on day one and say, hey, can you open up Blackboard for me so I can get ahead? I'm really trying to prioritize everything because I run a business, I'm trying to do all this. And so if you could please let me get ahead, I will find the answers, right? And where did I find the answers? YouTube. I usually got confused by my professors at UTPA, believe it or not. And what I did is I YouTube the subject and I would just put Harvard teacher or MIT professor or any Ivy League school. And they have most of their seminars or their, their classes recorded and publicly available on YouTube. So I like to say I got a Harvard education at UTPA because that's where I got a lot of my information to finish the test, finish the quizzes, finish the assignments, the things that were on Blackboard. Now, after, also on there, I put study sessions. So you can see on the bottom, there's a study session. That is where I study the stuff, right? As you guys know, the school system, it, it has its pros and cons. One of the cons is most of the education we get is just memorizing stuff and then regurgitate it to a test. And as long as you regurgitate and memorize the information for the test of that day, you'll get an A. Now, if I ask you to take your 11th grade math test uh, today, you might have some trouble. 
was that really an education, right? But that's the system. That's what we go through. So the goal is just learn and memorize the stuff to put it on the paper to get yourself an A and move on, right? And so I did have study sessions in my schedule. This kid has it on Monday night, right? As we know, the human brain kind of cuts off after two and a half hours. Anything beyond that, you're not really going to retain it, right? So we already know that. So when people say, I'm going to study for five hours, probably not. You're going to mess around on your phone, right? And so knowing that, knowing the basics to how the brain works, right? And outline it in your schedule when you study, when you do your homework, and when you do your classes, right? As you know, we have 168 hours in a week, right? Now to be successful in Cutco, which is a real job. And so let me show you how to make it a real job. So the key, step one is get those two phone jams, right? So every rep needs to have two phone jams. It's pretty simple, guys. Phone jams, they're about 40 calls is what you're trying to get, right? So 40 calls can take you maybe two hours if you're super, super slow and you're playing around the whole time. If it takes you two hours to do 40 calls, that is four hours out of your 168 hours. This is not tough stuff. We're not asking a lot here, right? You put your four hours in, right? If you're super slow at making calls, you make your 80 calls total. That sets up at least three to five demos, which you're either doing virtually or you're doing in person. You're gaining your communication skills. You're learning how to present a product. You're learning how to communicate with adults and so many other soft skills that are not really taught in the school system. So yes, you're gaining yourself because how do you gain time management skills if the school system literally just tells you when to go and when to leave? That's not time management skills. So it's crazy to think that we will want to send a kid and say, just go to school, focus only on school. What are they gaining for when they graduate? Where's their experience? Where's their dependability? Like they are the kid usually that is the most lazy. And it's just studies have shown people that work as they go through school tend to do better, right? And the grades, it's crazy. And usually it's because we give a kid 168 hours a week just for school. Usually they're the ones who like to become what we call procrastinators, right? They have so much time on their hands, they can just push it off to the side, right? When you have to do something like the schedule shows you here, it can get a little bit more intense, right? And so things that I scheduled were friend time, family time, church time. Now, well, the reason I put family time in here, because parents were prone, right, to, hey, come cut the grass. Hey, come clean this. And I was trying to work. I was trying to do school. Or I was trying to do that. And I had to prove to them, hey, this is a real job. Hey, this is a real task that I'm doing. I'm not just playing around today. I have things going on. You can't just call me randomly and say, drop what you're doing and do this, because mom, I'm trying to grow up. I'm trying to be an adult. And so, and demos were usually on my Saturdays and Sundays, right? It was over on the weekends. For me personally, that was my schedule. For this person, you can see Saturdays is when he's going to do it. Church time is on Sunday. And then they always have their little Sunday power in the office where they're learning management skills or learning how to open their own office, which, by the way, quick plug, there's a huge video on Cut Code Through College by Jeff Gamboa. I would highly recommend any adult, any parent that has a son or daughter in this business, watch that video so you understand what the branch opportunity is. But pretty much it allows your son and daughter to open their own office May, June, and July, and then close shop and get back to school. But May, June, and July get the experience of running their own business. Business. The company corporately invests over $6,000 to help them open their office May, June, and July, right? Pay the payroll, the whole nine yards. They do everything. They get all that experience. They learn how to recruit, train, and develop a sales team. This can, just the skills alone would be worth it, but they can make some pretty good money too. And so it's a really interesting uh, opportunity, but they do have to earn that. And so a lot of them do get their skills for life, their skills to learn how to run it off on that Sunday afternoon time. That's when they usually come together because they usually got school Monday through Friday during the fall and the spring. And so this is like a basic, basic schedule, but as you can see, they do have to put in the time to outline it. You should share it and you should share the Google Drive, right? Because then even on the Google Drive on Saturday, it's not just green like this. It tells you at two o'clock, I'm seeing Miss Lucy on and the list goes on. But you have it prioritized. You know that the, the kid's working. Your manager knows that the kid's staying active because people always question, what are you doing? Are you really working? And the reality is this is a real job. You just have to treat it like one, right? And to get parents on board, to get others on board, they got to see that you're disciplined, you are effectively communicating, and you have a little bit of time management in your schedule. Because the reality was, if I could go and do 18 hours and get all A's and still do what I did, anybody can do this. I was not the smartest kid. I just had my time to study a little longer than most of the other students in my schedule, and I took my schedule seriously. And that helped me a ton. 
but I did do this. I set this all up and it changed my life forever. I, I'm now 32 today. Uh, and it's pretty phenomenal to see that this knife selling job could take me so far. So I hope this helps. I hope you understand uh, how we do this. Now it's a Excel sheet, literally on an Excel form. And then it's also a Google Calendar. But setting this up isn't hard. It's just about doing it and then making sure all parties that are involved know.